Hey, what's up? I'm Angela and you're watching The Sauce. And today I have a very, very special treat for you. We're right here at the beautiful Radisson Operetum. And sitting next to me, we have the beautiful reigning Miss World Kenya, Maria Wavinia. Maria, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you doing? Good, good, good. So we're here as uh, saucers because we want to know what does it take to be a queen? And first off, for mm -hmm. those of you that might not know you, mm -hmm. who is Maria Wavinia? So I'm Maria Wavinia, Miss World Kenya 2019-2020. I'm 18 years old. Currently, I'm a student at Mount Kenya University, taking a diploma in journalism and mass communication. Ooh. All right, so it's been a long time coming to actually win this title and win this crown. Yes. What would you think, what does it take to win a crown? What are some of the things that you had to do on your journey to becoming Miss World Kenya? Well, the most important thing is not actually the beauty because everybody will, tends to confuse the outside beauty as what it really turns for you to be as a beauty queen. Mm. So what really matters is your inner beauty, the brains, mm. how you talk, how you conduct yourself. She's only 18 and I believe you're the youngest Miss World Kenya crowned. Yes? True. And I think it's just amazing everything that you've done so far. And I think you really mentioned a very, very important part of pageantry. It's not just about the beauty. There's definitely a big difference between being a high fashion model yes. and um, being a beauty queen. Sure. Beautiful. And um, when you were competing in your pageant, what was one of the biggest challenges that you faced and how did you overcome it? feeling like I didn't belong because I was the youngest amongst them all and everybody looked so mature to such an extent you would even ask yourself am I really worth it? Like how can I be competing with somebody who is almost 26? I mean she'll always be more privileged than you are. She has more experience than you have. Everything from her is actually more polished than anything from you. So praying and always looking up to myself as the best icon that society will always be looking for. That's what made me, I think, stand out and get, boost my confidence and that's the challenge. Beautiful. So never ever let your circumstances or your situation define who you want to be. Yes. So always go for anything. I love that. All right. So one thing that I'm really, really curious about, and I know probably people at home are curious about, is when you get ready to go to the international stage, what mm -hmm. are some of the essentials that you carry? What does a beauty queen have to carry? Well, I think I should show you. Oh, definitely. You, you have your bag over here? Yes. All right, we're going to go check out uh, Maria's bag and see what is it that she carries and what are the essentials, the must-haves that a pageant queen must carry with her. Wow, wow, a lot of glitz and glam, African print. I see so much going on on the bed. So <laughs> these are some of my favorite gowns and pants and blazers. Mm -hmm. Well, I love African print so much because it actually shows who I am. Mm. Because I'm proud to be from Africa. So I represent Africa the best way I can. I like, love it. I love it. Give us a 360. Oh, yes. Look at that flare on the neck. I swear. That? I really love it. So, I mean, as a queen, how do you keep yourself in shape, girl? Well, of course, I do gym and, of course, watching on my diet. So, do you go to the gym, like, almost every day or how often? Not almost every day. I mean, <laughs> girl, every day, every single day, if possible, two times. <laughs> What's your favorite food? I love pilau. Oh, pilau, yes. a nice, truly Kenyan dish. And chicken, too. <laughs> you want me to tell you all my favorites? Oh, go ahead. You have a the list. The list is endless. So I know a really big component of, of being a queen is giving back to the community. Yes. And um, a big part of your scoring is your mm -hmm. Beauty with a Purpose project. Tell us yes. more about that. Well, I'm working on ending period poverty and period shaming in our society. Mm. Because for as much as we tend to assume it, it's a deadly menace in our yeah. communities right now. Period poverty is a very, very real thing. So Yeah, and the most deadly figure is 
you can't imagine a 12 year old or 11 year old girl out there in a community trading her body for sanitary mm. towels. That's so sad. Well, I'm working with an organization called Heels for Pads and also Ashley's. Uh, literally what we do with Heels for Pads is we exchange our heels for sanitary towels. Wow. Now those are the pads. I mean, so you mentioned heels and yeah. I see your six inch heels. Yeah, my perfect six inch <laughs> heel. No, no, wear that. Is it hard to walk in these? Gel. This is the most comfortable shoe I've actually ever worn my entire life. I auctioned these heels out to maybe you come, but I won't sell it to you in term, in monetary terms. Mm -hmm. You'll give me pads in exchange for this. Uh, okay. So, maybe, so that's a heels for pads exchange. So yes. someone gives you pads and in I exchange. give you a shoe. In fact, I get it's a blue and blue. Heel. Lovely, lovely. Yes. Ooh, this is lovely. I this I must look it. amazing on stage. As I said, I love Africa. And I love every bit, including the jewelry. Mm. So I put on my jewelry from the local designers. So as you can see, these are. It's a beautiful piece. So yes, it's another with way of promoting local designers. And, yes. So you always have to wear a piece of Africa with you, no matter where you go. No matter where you go. I understand when you get ready to go to London, you'll be there for a whole month. Definitely. In, the, in that month long period, what are you ladies up to? Head to head challenge. Head to head. There is the top model challenge. So that's why you must always have your poise with you. Ooh. Have your body on point. And then, of course, there is the designer's challenge. There your country works on it. Oh, wow. And then there is the sports. Of course, many more from the etiquette to everything else, how you communicate, how you address people. Beautiful. I see, I see you'd be a great representative. So now, um, before you head out, people don't understand what is it that you do to, on a day-to-day -day basis? How does your day start? How does it end? My day starts at the gym. I have my chaperone. So sometimes I'm doing car talk. Sometimes I go straight to my etiquette class. Sometimes I go straight to my communication classes. And sometimes I'm meeting different government dignitaries and every time I'm doing that I must always have my sash and my crown on. Ooh, so this is my sash with the Miss World Kenya title on it. So you always have to wear your sash and your crown my anytime sash. you're doing public appearances. Yes, and my crown. Mm. Oh yes. Beautiful. Put diamonds on it. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Alright, so we'll pack some of your jewelry up, right? Yes. So here we go. Wow, you are truly looking like a queen ready to take the world on. You know, you're walking in the footsteps of the likes of Ida and mm -hmm. Evelyn, who both really did amazing. Yes. And so as you get ready to head out, what are some of the things you hope to achieve when you go to London? Well, of course, I've learned a lot of things from Evelyn, from Ida, from each and every beauty queen who's been there. And one of the things that one of the things that I'm expecting to make a change in. Mm. I'm expecting to bring the blue crown home. You know what I mean by yes. the blue crown? That's the world crown home. The world crown, the yes, Miss and world crown. Yes, I feel I have everything it takes. And As you've gone on this journey, it's been a long journey coming and it's, it's still going. What are some of the biggest lessons you've learned? In everything that you do, always put God first. How can we support you as Kenyans, as the, as the country you're representing, how can we support you? Um, what do we need to do to support you? Well, first I need all of you to put me in your prayers. Put Kenya in your prayers because indeed with God everything is possible. Two, I just need you to go to App Store in your phone, download Mobster app, create an account and search Miss World Kenya. Then you can like all of my posts. That way you voted for me and you've placed me one step further. You've placed Kenya one step further. So when people vote for you, it helps fast track you to the next yes, level. Yes, that is the multimedia challenge. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful ladies and gentlemen, and that is a wrap. We are getting ready to pack up her suitcase as she um, prepares herself to head to the Miss World stage.